Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my nerve-wracking road trip from Montauk to Buscalon, the village where the legendary tattoo artist Wang Ot lives and give you a sneak peek of the life in her village. If you're one of those who want to get a tattoo from her or just meet her in person, this video will show you one of the ultimate trips of your life and you can decide for yourself if it's worth the visit or not. On January 3, 2018, I and my husband have embarked in a once-in-a-lifetime journey from Sagada to Bontoc and Bontoc to Buscalon. Armed with only an info from a written blog I found online. We left Sagara in Mountain Province with still aching feet from hiking to the Blue Mountains on New Year's Eve. And then we took a bus to Bontok. Bontok is a small town located in the Mountain Province of the Philippines. It's a beautiful place with stunning scenery and a rich culture. However, the real highlight of this trip was visiting the village of Buscalan, which is famous for its traditional tattoo art and the home of the legendary Kalinga tattoo artist Wang Od. Apparently, one has to get a tour guide when visiting Buscalan. So, while waiting at the jeepney, while the muscle guys loaded the cargoes onto the jeepney, we tried contacting some numbers that I found on the online blog, but the numbers weren't working. So, we talked to some local passengers and we got connected to two tour guides, one for me and one for my husband. We were then told that we had to pay 500 pesos each for a day for each tour guide. Our tour guides would be then waiting for us at the entrance of the hike to the village. The journey from Bontok to Buscalan can take up to three hours depending on the weather conditions. Caution, this journey is not for the faint-hearted. The roads are narrow and winding with lots of twists and turns and are so dangerous because we were just less than a meter away from the cliff. I wonder why I haven't seen anyone get dizzy or vomit, but maybe I was too engrossed with the surroundings and the danger of my position. I told myself not to tell my mom about this experience, otherwise she will have a heart attack. We were sitting on top of the jeepney with other three visitors from Poland who offered us a sip of a Polish vodka. Honestly, that helped calm down our nerves during the whole journey. We also shared a good love. They had those huge cameras and it was apparent they wanted to document Wang Ad and her village. The views of the Cordillera Mountains are breathtaking. The road going to Buscalan is very scenic with a stunning view of the rice terraces and the magnificent Chico River. I was so amazed by the beauty surrounding us, but at the same time, trying to hold on for life to the jeepney railings as I and my husband opted to sit on the top of the jeepney for this view. The top of the jeepney is usually for the cargoes, but due to the scarcity of the number of jeepneys going to Buscalan or passing by Buscalan, the jeepney owners try to maximize the space. But I wonder why this is even allowed, but I wouldn't want to complain because I came here for this experience. After about two hours sitting on top of the jeepney, we were told that we should get down in the middle of the road. There were motorcycle drivers, locally known as Habal Habal, waiting for us. We were then brought to the entrance where the hike to the village starts. And that's where we also met our young tour guides. I was quite ready for this hike because I just came from a hike in Sagara. It took us about an hour to reach the village and it was almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon and the sun was already setting. As we approached Boscalan, 
we could see the traditional huts and rice terraces scattered across the valley. Wow. Nice. We didn't have time to book our accommodation as our trip was quite an impromptu one. And so our tour guides led us away and we visited every homestay they know, but we couldn't find any that is suitable for two of us. During the search for our one night accommodation, I noticed this very simple life there. Black pigs are running around as if the village streets belong to them. Children as young as five years old are already taking care and carrying their baby siblings around. But the people looked happy and uh, that's important life, isn't it? It was already dark and I asked our tour guides if there's a place where we could have dinner or at least a snack but I was told that there's no restaurant in the village. Fair enough. But they brought us to a hut of someone they personally know and this person cooked us a very simple meal like fried egg and rice. But at least they had San Miguel beer. I was sure we could survive a night with it. The most difficult part was when I feel the call of nature aka the need to pee after a bottle of beer. I asked for a toilet and my tour guide told me there's none. So she accompanied me outside and we squatted on a dark corner close to the cliff and we did pee together. Oh, that's a release. We had a laugh together and I got to know a little bit more about her. She told me that some Christian missionaries are helping the youth in the village to become financially independent and that's how she became a tour guide in her village. After this simple dinner, we continued with the search for a place to stay. My husband saw a hut without a roof and said we could also sleep there. I said definitely no and so we went back to where we started and I was already almost losing hope but just like a miracle we saw this two-story homestay at the entrance of the village and we're told it belongs to Apo Wang Ad. We went there and asked and got lucky to have the last small space in the corner of the room which is good for two and it has a beautiful view of the mountains. It was the most luxurious place I have in days and I slept like a baby. I woke up in the morning with a smell of freshly brewed coffee from below Apo Wang Odd's homestay. We enjoyed a cuppa at the small adjacent hut together with some young curious locals and other visitors. The weather was cool because we are in the mountains. And then at 7 in the morning, the action has begun. Apo Wang Odd started tattooing just under her homestay. Wang Odd is a true living legend. She was born in the 1917th and has been tattooing since she was 15 years old. She's over 100 years old and has been practicing traditional tattoo art for over 80 years. Can you imagine that? Her tattoos are done using a traditional hand tapping method which involves using a thorn and a bamboo stick to create intricate designs on the skin. Her work is highly respected and people come from all over the world to get tattooed by her. I immediately wanted to have my Scorpio design tattoo but I was told by our tour guides that I might probably need to stay one more day because the waiting list was quite long and Apo Wang Ad does only a few tattoos in a day due to her weak eyesight. 
if I want to get tattooed by Wang Art herself, it would only be her three dots signature tattoo and the rest would be her grandnieces. Apo Wang Art doesn't have her own kids but she was training her grandnieces Grace Palikas an alien vegan to continue the Kalinga's Butbut tribe tattoo art and tradition. I was still amazed she could even tattoo at her age. I decided to skip my intent to get inked, much to the delight of my husband who discouraged me to get my skin tattooed. We spent an hour watching one odd work and it was truly fascinating. It was a real honor to witness it firsthand. By around 9 in the morning, we were told by our tour guides that the jeepney leaves the village in, in an hour. And so we did a small walk around the village, packed our stuff and bid farewell to the village and started our descent with a 45 minutes hike to where the jeepney awaits us. We opted again for a top seat to get the same experience as the previous day coming to Buscalan. We were having a conversation with another Filipino visitor who lives in the US but came to the village to get inked by a Wang Art but got her desired tattoo from the grandniece and had a three dot signature from Wang Art. She also stayed for three days to wait for this tattoo. After about half an hour chit-chatting and enjoying the view, this time still as scary as before. And then a police car signaled our jeepney to stop on the side of the road. Honestly, this was the first time I saw a police car after a month of traveling in the north of the Philippines. So I was curious what could be the driver's offense. We were then told by the driver to get down and get in the jeepney as sitting on the top is not allowed anymore. Overall, our road trip from Bontok to Buscalon was an unforgettable experience. The journey was challenging, but the reward was well worth it. And if you're ever in the area, I highly recommend making the trip to Buscalon to see Wang Odd and her traditional tattoo art. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience that you'll never forget. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment if you like my video. Till next!